What's good everybody? It's currently 3 in the afternoon and today I'm out here at Lake Berryessa because I've been told that the bite's been pretty good out here lately because the storm has passed and the weather's been warming up so the bass bite is uh, definitely improving and my goal for today is to just get a limit and to stay away from the drop shot because I've been relying on it a lot this year. So, you know, the drop shot is going to be my last resort. You know, if nothing else works for me, then I'll have no choice but to use the drop shot. But uh, I'm going to be focusing on the jig and the chatterbait today because I haven't had a lot of luck with either of those lures this year. So uh, those two lures are going to be my primary focus for today. And with that being said, it's time for me to go unstrap my kayak, grab all my fishing gear and tackle, and head out into the water. So I'll see dingleberries in a minute. Okay, I'm pulling up to my first spot of the day. Gonna start off with the jig. And uh, let's see if we can get a bite here shortly. Damn, I know y'all can't see this. The GoPro won't be able to capture it properly, but there are a lot of bait fish swimming underneath me right now. So, uh, that's a good sign. Means that the shad are probably spawning right now. And uh, the bass might be chasing some bait fish. So I might actually switch over to the chatter bait in a couple of minutes. Well, folks, it has been a really tough day of fishing so far. Um, haven't gotten a single bite, and I've been fishing for about two hours. And uh, haven't thrown the drop shot yet, because like I said, I really want to stay away from it today. But you know what? It looks like I might just have to use the drop shot, because the bite is just really, really, really slow. It's unbelievable. I've tried a ton of new spots today, and none of them have produced a single bite for me. So, I'm really puzzled. I don't know where these fish are at right now. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh, I'm really hoping I can get a bite here within the next 30 minutes or so. There we go. Oh, plopped off. Damn it. There was a fish though. I had a fish on. Oh my God. It's 7.30. I've been fishing for like four hours now. And I uh, finally got my first bite of the day. It is slow. So fucking slow. I mean, even the drop shot really isn't producing any bites isn't really getting any bites, I should say. And uh, it's just, oh, it's a brutal day of fishing. Really, really tough. I fished a lot of new spots today, covered a lot of water, but nothing, not a zilch. Nothing on the main lake. I'm now at uh, one of the creeks, and uh, I'm hoping that that wasn't the only bite of the day. <laughs> I'm hoping that there's a couple more fish lingering around. But again, it has been tough. Really, really, really tough. I got about another 30 to 45 minutes left to fish. And then I gotta pack everything up and head on home. Ooh. There's a fish, hooked up. Yes! Oh, ooh. oh, geez. Oh, damn. This one, this one's fighting good. Oh, sh <laughs> Oh, my God. At the very end of the day, I hook up on a fish and it's a nice one. Oh, my God. Whoo! Let's tire this baby out. Come on. Please don't jump. 
you're about to jump. Oh, nope, nope. Woo, yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus. Jesus. Let me loosen that drag up. Just a little bit. Woo. Get the net too. Oh my God. Woo. Woo. Come on. I'm the daddy. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Okay, you're not. I'm not losing you. Come on. Oh, damn. That's a big largey. That's a big largey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get into the net, baby. Get into the net. Oh, yeah. Woo. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, damn. This guy's a fucking tank, baby. Woo. A toad. What an absolute toad. Oh, my God. Hoo-wee! Yeah, baby! Woo! Okay, folks, this big girl is on the scale, and she is 4.11 pounds. Hoo-hoo! Not my PB, but still. Oh, a fucking tank. Oh, my God. She is a beauty. Let's see if I can get this stupid thing. Okay, there we go. All right, unlock the fish grip. And now, it's time for you to go back into the water where you belong. Get even bigger. Maybe turn into a 10 pounder one day. Whew. Very, very, very nice fish. Beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bass. Ready to swim off, buddy? Let me know. Ready? Alright, there we go. She's gone. Woo! Success, baby! Okay, folks. It is officially the following day of the tough Berryessa fishing trip. The bite was really f***ing slow throughout the entire day. And I covered a lot of water yesterday. And I couldn't get a single f***ing bite for four hours. Four f***ing hours, I couldn't get a single bite. Not one bite. Not a single goddamn motherfucking bite. It was so f***ing slow. And, uh, you know, after about two hours with no luck, I was starting to lose my motherfucking mind. God damn. I legit threw the jig around for about three f***ing hours. And, you know, after three hours with no luck, I knew I had to switch over to the drop shot even though I did not want to. You know, I mentioned in my intro that I did not want to rely on the drop shot because I've been relying on it a lot this year. And, you know, I was really hoping that yesterday <laughs> I could get bit on something other than the motherfucking drop shot. But even with the drop shot, it was still really fucking tough to get a bite. I mean, I, even after switching over to the drop shot, I couldn't get bit for another two hours or not two hours, another hour and a half. Or so. So, you know, it was. Oh, it was tough, man. <laughs> it was just tough. I did not even bother to throw the chatterbait because I did not see any shad. Uh, I did not see any school. I didn't see it. I didn't. Oh my god, I cannot speak English right now. Penis, 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 penis. I did not see a school of shad swimming around near the trees or in a cove. And, you know, I thought I saw a school of shad at my first spot of the day, but turns out they were just bass fry. So that's why I didn't really throw any moving baits around yesterday. And honestly, even though the bite was absolute fucking dog shit yesterday, I do not regret going up to Berryessa because the scenery was gorgeous as it always is. And plus, I still managed to beat the mother fucking skunk. So, uh, yeah, hopefully the next time I go out there, the bite will be a lot better. 
And with that being said, it's time for me to sign out now. So I will see you beautiful dingleberries on my next fishing trip. Peace out, motherfuckers.